In this video, we'll be installing front three-point seat belts into a classic car. Today's lap belts and seat belts are brought to you by Morris Classic Concepts online at www.morrisclassic.com. For ease of understanding in the video, I've made the driver's side red and the passenger side blue. After unboxing everything, the first thing that you're going to need to do is locate the factory mounting points inside of the car. Take any pre-existing seat belts from the car body out if applicable. Make sure you have a completely clear hole through the carpet, otherwise the threading on the bolts may catch and tear. To make it a bit easier to see, we use blue painter's tape to mark the holes, but you will need to find the appropriate thread size tap to match the bolt size you'll be installing and trace the hole in the floor and into the ceiling. I'll be including other information on mounting points and top mounting points as we go through the video. Find the seat belt reel with the color rubber band. This will be your driver's side. It's also marked on the back. Put the reel into the floor and put the flat side of the back of the reel facing the driver's side. Now, once you've put the bolt through the washer and then through the reel, hand tighten it to the floor in the mounting points I showed you earlier. We recommend leaving the rubber band on until you go to put the top mounting bracket in just because it makes the seat belt webbing a little easier to handle. Now I'm going to show you how to use the top mounting point, but I'm going to use the blue passenger side seat belts. Unfold the webbing and take the plastic echelon piece and slide it through the bracket so it'll cover the bracket at the top of the mount in your car. It's important to note GM started installing top mounts on all of their cars in February of 1966. This video could be used as a reference for installing in other cars as there's going to be similarities to other makes and models. However, the seat belts I'm using are year and car specific to a 1969 Camaro. Ford and Mopar did not start installing the top mount until January of 1968 per FMBSS mandated safety laws. Insert the 5 16th bolt through the top bracket and the echelon piece by following the provided instructions. You'll need to put the flat washer and the internal locking washer on first in each bolt to make sure they tighten properly. Tighten each 5 16th bolt with an Allen wrench to SAE standards. Snap the plastic cover down to cover the bracket and bolts. Now that the top mount is secure, look at the seat belt and ensure that the webbing is centered to the slot of the middle of the reel. If it's not, loosen the bolt and flange nut that holds the reel to the bracket and rotate it and retort to 38 to 42 foot-pounds. Now that your reel's installed properly, retrieve the female end of the seat belt. Retrace where the holes will be just like on the reel installation and ensure that the hole will not be blocked by the car's interior carpet. Install each female push button end with the face of the push button away from the occupant or facing the tunnel. Install the bolt and washer and torque to SAE standards. Once again, make sure you have clean and properly tapped threads to install the seat belts. It's so important because if the bolt locks up in an older floor pan, it may lock in so badly that trying to reverse the bolt will peel the threading right off of it. It's a nightmare to try to get it out after that. As you can tell, we've moved on to installing the passenger side seat belts, exactly the same as the drivers except mirrored. Tighten all bolts to SAE standards. If you're unfamiliar with SAE, there are plenty of charts and guides online. The seat belts from Morris Classic Concepts come in 30 different colors, 6 different buckle styles, and you can also buy driver and passenger side mirrors for your classic cars. Don't forget the hood, fender emblems, and many more products at morrisclassic.com. And remember, don't compromise the life safety of yourself and your passengers. 